Hey Mike, yeah, essentially the more rain we get upstream from here, the better off our water supply will be. But bottom line, this one rain event is really not expected to make a drought, make a dent in a drought that has been years in the making. Central Texas gearing up for a deluge of rain on Thursday, a welcome sight for many of us. There's going to be some heavy rain, probably the heaviest rain we've seen in parts of the area in a long time. With flooding possible in many spots, it begs the question, could this bring an end to our drought or at the very least take a bite out of it? It can help. It stops the decline and it has bumped up a little bit. Kevin Kluge, water conservation manager with Austin Water, says the key is where that rain falls. And the rain we see in the metro area, that doesn't mean that our reservoirs, Lake Buchanan and Lake Travis, are increasing. What we need is the rains upstream of us. Uh, up in the hill country to really replenish those reservoirs. In fact, Chief Meteorologist Scott Fisher says we would need dozens of storms like this to really make a difference. We need feet of water, 10, 15, 20, 40, 50 feet of water to really get Lake Travis, Lake Buchanan back where they need to be. Right now, Lake Travis is just 35% full. Lake Buchanan is 45%. At least we hope it's leveling off now with some of these recent rains. Those two lakes need to be at least around half full in order for Austin to get out of stage two drought restrictions, which we've been under since August. I think we will remain under the same restrictions until April or May. And then hopefully we'll get the good rains. If we don't, then it becomes more serious. The last time we were in stage two back in um, 2012, we were in stage two for about three years. But Scott says there is a bit of good news when it comes to the drought. So the El Nino may actually be kicking in in a big way, and we may be experiencing more storms and more potential storms like this over the next couple of months. And Austin Water says they expect those lake levels to stay about where they are right now. Heading on through the winter, they expect them to stay about the same. And you can check on those lake levels and the water restrictions. Just head over to our website, fox7austin.com. We're live at Lake Austin tonight. I'm John Crinjack, Fox 7 Austin News.